Sword Art Online Hollow Realization is the third game in the Sword Art Online game series. Just like previous games in the series, this one is made by Bandai Namco, and it continues the universe within the SAO games, separate from the canon universe of the anime and the manga. In Hollow Realization, Kirito and his friends are beta testing a new MMORPG called Sword Art Online Origins. This new MMORPG is being created by the scientist known as Seven. You may know her if you played the previous SAO games like Sword Art Online Lost Song. Anyway, she's creating a new MMORPG with a new VR headset, and so she enlists the help of Kirito and his friends to beta test a new program. This new MMO is created from the foundation of Ancrad, the world where Sword Art Online took place and so a lot of the world seems very familiar in terms of the environment and the inspiration design of the towns. While playing this new game, Kirito finds a mysterious NPC that strikes him as a bit off. This NPC has no stats or background information applied to it, so Kirito and his friends take it upon themselves to find out who this girl is and why she's the way she is. The story isn't too outstanding and quite honestly I really wasn't invested into the story at all, but rather all the cool science stories with the characters of the established SAO universe and the previous games too. That's sort of the overall stance I take with this game. When you first start Hollow Realization, you'll be introduced to the hub world of the game. In this game, the hub world is the equivalent to the Town of Beginnings from Sword Art Online. Here you can interact with the NPCs and other famous characters from the series as well. You can purchase battle items, new armor, weapons, and even develop relationships with some of the characters. Developing relationships with characters unlocks new side stories with them and even helps improve their stance in terms of battle when they're your partner. For fans of the series, you're likely to get a lot of enjoyment out of this as it lets you experience new side stories with the characters you've come to know and love from the anime, manga, and even the video games from before. And yes, at times this includes fan service heavy pillow talk scenes with some of your favorite female characters. But more importantly, and interesting to me, is that they show character development with the characters you wanted to see more of that didn't really get their chance in the spotlight during the anime or the manga. Developing relationships with characters unlocks new science stories with them and even helps improve their stats in terms of the battle. The combat system is solid, it's very reminiscent in terms of the previous games. You can jump, attack, guard, and use a skill with the push of one of the face buttons. In addition, you can hold down the L button and then have the ability to command your party members to some extent like telling them to focus on attacking or healing. These commands focus on battling, like being able to switch positions with a partner mid-skill activation to continue a combo. Like I said before, this battle system has been in place for a while now, and if you play Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment before, you'll pretty much get used to it instantly. Progression of the game's story is done with the completion of quests. These quests consist of exploring new parts of the world, and a lot, and I mean a lot, of fetch quests. That's another big problem with this game. While combat and the science stories are really cool, there seems to be a lot of repetition with the main game. Enemies after a while are basic palette swaps of the base models of enemies, and a lot of the story quests end up being go get that or go destroy this amount of specific enemies before the time runs out. Even all the extra side quests are like this. This makes the main story, as I mentioned before, even more uninteresting to follow. The thing that actually kept me playing this game outside of having to review it for you guys were the interactions with the characters I've come to know and love from the series. However, even those interactions aren't necessarily playable. You get the dating sim part that's gameplay, but everything else is pretty much a cutscene, and these are static cutscenes. However, I will say that they're fully voiced, which is something I really did appreciate. These cutscenes can last anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes, and they're pretty funny and humorous and really enjoyable to watch, but at times I wish I could actually play these things I see with the characters as they say and do these things, not just watch them. Visually, the game is better looking than the previous games in the series. Things look sharper than ever on the PS4 version, and overall improved on the Vita version. However, even on the PS4, textures can be pretty low res at times, and this looks even worse when you have something like a character model look really sharp in terms of resolution, but the signs and building textures look incredibly blurry. And another thing I want to mention is that the Vita version has a pretty bad frame rate issue, and I want to clarify this because I got a shit ton of angry comments when I reviewed Hyrule Warriors Legends on the 3DS saying that had a bad frame rate issue when everyone else thought it was okay. So if you're looking at the gameplay now of the Vita version and you think this is okay and playable, then okay, it's it's fine. But if you're like me and can look at this and see that there's actually a pretty bad frame rate issue, then yeah, there's a frame rate issue. Overall, Sword Art Online Hollow Realization is a cool game for fans, but one that's definitely flawed with a large amount of repetition. If you're not a fan of SAO already, I wouldn't recommend picking this game up at all. And if you are a fan like me of the series and the manga, even then I'd say wait for a price drop. It's really cool to see more of the characters, especially some of the side characters in the series, that really didn't get their time in the limelight during the anime or the manga, but it's definitely not worth the current $60 price tag. 
But as with all my reviews, if you disagree or agree or have any questions you'd like me to answer, let me know in the comment section below or send me a tweet over at, at Luis underscore GVN. Thank you all very much for watching my review. If you liked it, drop it a like. If you loved it, consider subscribing. And while you wait for my next video, you might want to go check out the unboxing of the Collector's Edition of Sora Online Hollow Realization and my review of the new PlayStation 4 Pro. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.